She's all zombied over there. Look at her. That looks like uh, one of the Magister zombies. Maybe she's legit not okay. Hungry. I thought a uh, dude was just being creepy like he abducted her or something. But he might have been on the... On to something here. Across the cellar, a shape bearing some resemblance to a woman lurches around to face you. It utters a marrow-curdling gurgle. Marrow-curdling gurgle. Oof. Did she eat that guy? There's this giant spider web. Is she a spider person? Totally reach your weapon. Inch back towards the hatch leading back upstairs. Wonder what's wrong with her. Sharper, angrier. Then the sound of rapid footfalls rushing towards you. Holy shit! Natalie's fear. Natalie's fury. Natalie's anguish. Natalie's despair. What the? Oh. Okay, I don't want to... I think I want to kill these because I'm wondering if, uh, fuck Sabeel, you're still diseased. Come on. Fine. Heal yourself to get undiseased. Damn it. I wish I realized that earlier. All right, get back here. This will give us another point. Ow. These guys are level 12. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Mmm. That was half of it. We're gonna use this. I'm hoping this is gonna take out her ar take out its armor. Alright, the armor will be gone. These look like they're going to be melee, even though they're glowing like they could cast spells. I don't know if they can bleed. I'm going to sleeping arm him. Holy shit. That almost killed him. Oh, because they only have 83 life. Damn it. If I would have done the other ability, if I would have noticed that, and I did the other ability, he would have, if they bleed, he would have bled out and died. That's a bummer. All right. I'll show you fear. Bring on the crunchy. Rawr. Power infusion. What was this again? Move petrified frozen from target character vaporized ground surface into clouds. That should go over here because it's oh here. That's right. I forgot to do that. We have a supercharger now. I don't want to build a totem because it might shoot her. So I'm gonna shoot this guy. Zing! All right, Crunchy. Unleash the punching, mate. Ah, oh. Bummer. Oh, he poisoned me. Or, well, he tried, rather. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, what? Who do I want to do this to? It is that one. That's a bummer. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll go over there and just... Yeah! Where are you going? Sack of opportunity. Bam! Goodbye, armor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow, whirlwind. That took a lot of... I thought that would have took physical, but it totally did not. This will be super helpful. Zing! Kill them both. Yeah, Losa! Zing! That did uh, no damage to his magic armor. It's probably because he's crazy air resistance. Crap. She's going to get frozen. She has no armor. No! Oh, no. Ow. She just took control of Sibyl and healed Fane. Ow. Rude, bitch. Ow. Did I just get petrified, too? Come on. Holy shit, these things hurt. Um... Can I line up? I'm gonna try this. It's probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna... Boom! Well, I crit them both. That was cool. I was hoping I would knock Sabeel over, but... We're gonna do it to this one. Because the other one resisted my last shocking attack. So, zing! Okay. Let's buff our friends. Uh, batting ram, bro. No! Oh, he's immune. Alright, just punch him. Almost dead. Leave me alone. Don't you heal any of them. My turn. Sibyl's back. Ow. Shit, that hurt. Ow. Thank you for missing. Oh shit, he got three attacks on her. That hurt. Why can't I heal? Muted shit. That's not good. Stupid muted assholes. I need me punch him. Yes. Good job, Crunchy. All right. Hopefully she can't summon those things back because that would really suck. Never use this ability, so we'll give it a go. Petrifying visage. We have to heal Sabeel. I sh damn it! I forgot to check for decaying again because I'm an idiot. That's a shit ton of damage. Uses my source point. I'm gonna use it. I've never used it before. Boom! Almost killed her. Crunchy's not gonna be able to finish the job. Cause she has fucking physical armor. Actually, he might. Yep, there it is. Cause she only had 50 armor. Fucking nope. Nope! I was going to try to get rid of the disease, but the thing ticked and killed her. Sorry, Sabeel. I tried to, but the tick happened before I could save you. Everyone take a nap. That was brutal, dude. Broken source collar. 
Is there nothing else in here? Are you serious? I'm having a hard time believing that. There you go. The spirit of a young woman stares down at the remains of her own warped form, aghast. She looks up to you, eyes wide with shock. What's going on? I was having terrible dreams. There was something crawling about inside. Was it one of those worm brain things? Making me do things. Oh no. Could I have just blessed her and saved her? Hi, Dogo. She was told you won't be troubled by that anymore any longer and ask what she remembers. The Magisters. They arrested Hi, Dogo. me in arcs. I remember being strapped to a table. They Yeah. They put something in my head. They turned something her into one of the zombie life. things. I was put on a caravan. Then they said they were bringing me to Fort Joy. That I should be honored to become a pet of the uh, yeah. hammer. My one of those, must have been loose though. One of those people that we saw where Niles and stuff were. I remember running away with blood on my hands. The rest is gone. Now I'm here. The spirit stares at her transparent hands, dazed. Sorry, friend. Really? The dead man here's no uh no thing, huh? Okay. Woo! A pink! Garbage. Hmm. Alright, well. <laughs> I'm gonna go right back out. And talk to that dude and be like, um, we took care of her, mate. Nails, yes. We haven't been finding nails in a while. <laughs> Just, oh no, we weren't in your house. Don't you worry. A teddy bear. Rubbish. Hey, buddy. Guess what? I've no time for chatter, stranger. There's a young yeah. woman in need of my help. Just as soon as I've gathered me thoughts. Yeah, she did. Dead. I was treating that poor girl. I was going to save her. Get the hell away from here, you bloody murderer. <laughs> Minus 50. To attitude to all my people. Oh. He's actually he seems like he's actually gonna try to help. He wasn't a creeper. Sorry, mate. I tried to as well, but she kinda summoned creepy that, things on my face. It sounds like there's a battle unfolding nearby. Yeah, whoa. Well whatever it is, I can't see. Oh, there's red over here. Oh, there's a bug. All right, we'll help them in a minute. What's this? It's a painter's area. Just stole a painting. Where am I going? Oh, just went in a big circle. Okay. Let's go back to where we saw that doggy. Wait, who's digging? Who's digging? You! It's Gareth! Holy crap! No way. Save. Supply kit. I'll take one of them. Looks Dude, like it's worth almost 1,600. 
Hey, buddy. Oui. Are you burying someone? Gareth toils in monotony. It's not like you to be so sullen. What's going on? Gareth freezes, then turns slowly towards you. His breaths are steady, his voice a monotone. I'm digging my murdered parents' graves. Oh, snap. Ask that you show your respect. Gareth moves to continue his task, but his cadence falters. He pauses, silence hangs, begging to be broken. Sure, I will buy from you. Earthquake, cool, that's new. Reactive armor. That just sounds cool. Deals damage based on your current physical armor and a wave of metal spikes to everyone in the area. Oh, I don't want to hurt myself. Pretty sure we already know these ones. Yeah, nothing I want. All right. Um. Sorry, mate. No, of course you didn't. God woken. I've seen Seeker's blood seeping into the sand. I waded through corpses on the deck of the Lady Vengeance. But when the lifeless eyes looking back at you are your own mothers, I just didn't know. I didn't know what darkness lied beyond pain. Now, well, now I do. What did this? Pets. Such helpful tools they are too. The abominations do the dirty work and the whites keep their robes clean. Convenient. They're still there. He's going to go crazy, isn't he? It smell through the house. Paladins came to clean up the mess. In the name of Lucian, they say, and they seem to believe it. Gareth shies away from you. His eyes pass over the half-filled graves and he takes a shuddering breath. Iris. I'm the one who has prayed. An endless litany. How many pleas does it take? How many tears do I have to shed? How much must I lose for the gods to listen? Gareth forcefully exhales and looks past you to the nearby house. You fear he might snap the shovel's handle in two. Ooh. I kind of want to level with him. <laughs> But that might make him go crazy. I should say number two. Say the Lucian might be gone, but you're still here for him to Seekers too. That's a better thing to say. I'm going to say that. I've got no use for empty platitudes. Okay. Not some whinging wolf chosen as the seven special pet. All right, you're attacking you me now, huh? Hear Gareth's pulse galloping faster than a saddled mount. You've never heard such a thing before, but you suspect Gareth's heart is close to tearing. If you want to help, then you find the craven white that ordered their slaughter. Anyone that stands between you and truth, no matter the flag they fly or creed they follow, make them bleed. Yeah, this guy getting crazy. VR horror game? Yeah, so, um... There, I don't know if you have a Twitter or anything, but that's a link to Twitter about the uh, idea I had, and you can vote on whether it's something you'd be interested in and stuff. Uh, so far, I think it's uh, winning in votes. Uh, but basic idea is, uh, during the month of October, I will, uh, will play scary games in VR. Um, for instance, uh, Alien Isolation, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Spooky's Mansion of Jump Scares, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, one of those two. Um, 